Hey gang, this is Brian Clock. We're talking the history of the original patented flare windshield. In 2006, we did a Discovery Channel biker build-off with a road glide. We're the first and only one to build a bagger for a biker build-off series. Three weeks later, we ended up at the Bonneville Salt Flats, proving that we didn't build just a trailer queen. This was something you could really ride. Super fast, super powerful, super cool, but it wobbled. At 125 miles an hour, that bike really started lifting and going all over the place. On the way home, we were trying to figure out, okay, we set the land speed record, but how can we fix it? You can see the front of the angle of the bike is basically your hand outside the window going up. This is your hand going down. We played around with it, rapid prototyped a part that would basically push down on that bike real softly. Everybody loved it. Everybody believed that it made their hat stay on, the radio sounded better, it felt like it handled better. How were we gonna prove that? We met a guy who knew a guy. Sounds like a typical story, right? We ended up in Mooresville, North Carolina at the A2 wind tunnel. We put a payment plan on because we were broke. Six months later, we ended up there. As the bike started running, it was 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Put the windshield on, it was going 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Went up in the control tower. The guys were high-fiving and hollering. They knew we were broke. They said, call your patent attorney. You just did it. You made that bike safer for everybody who owns one. That windshield was named the 2009 V-Twin Product of the Year. Went on to sell what they thought would be only 500. We sold 18,500. One guy told another guy told another guy, and the success was overnight, as they say. Let's dig a little deeper and get an understanding of why this became the number one selling aftermarket part in the V-Twin industry. 